We have some breaking news to report you to now. Exeter City have confirmed that the manager Matt Taylor will be leaving them to take over as the manager of Rotherham United. It comes after four fantastic seasons for the club, including last season's promotion winning side that got them back to League One. Exeter City wishes Matt Taylor all the best and wishes him well at Rotherham. Once again, that breaking news, Matt Taylor has left for Rotherham United from Exeter City. What's up boys? Gretchen Freeman back here with a brand new video. Now in today's video, we're going to say thank you to Matt Taylor as he has now left Exeter City for the Rotherham United job. In my first response is, I want to say a massive thank you for Matt for what he did for us. Uh, it was an honour of speaking to you most match days, so you know, saying hello and all that. Uh, just thank you for being one of the best, or if not best, the best moments of me being an XFC supporter. Like, I'm always going to never forget that season where, you know, people rose up at Christmas when we had those COVID injuries and all that. But I'm always going to remember that day in April, that day, that time, the place. Oh, it just gives me peace points of the thing man. So thank you. And today's video, guys, we're going to go through the top five moments for me, personally, as Matt Taylor's reign in his management. But first, before we go into that, make sure you smash the like button, hit the notification bell, and subscribe so you will never, ever, ever miss a video when I upload. And today we're just going to get a dive right into it. So let's start with when Exeter announced Matt Taylor as their manager. As you can see here, right after the disappointment at Coventry City. Of a difficult week last week, having lost at Wembley, and we're all terribly disappointed. Um, and Paul leaving on Friday morning, got invited to a, an interview Friday afternoon, which was obviously a, a successful one, and then offered a job on, on Friday evening, and I, I accepted it straight away, and I can't wait to get started. So, a new manager, a new aspect on Exeter's promotion side, and it's going to be a long, long way, way to League One as we go go back in time. Go. As easy as that, Exeter City take the lead. Right footed, shoots and scores. It is a confident penalty. It came into the side netting. Oh, the breaches and a ball into Jake Taylor. Three one victory over Carlo on his first home game as XC manager. It got off to the perfect start for Matt Taylor's side. But unfortunately Matt Taylor came up short in his first season, just missing the playoffs by two points. As Exeter finished ninth that season. Number four came in September of 2018 where Exeter were on a very good run of form. They got a good sign of players, got a good couple of points, and then it was time for the turn of Harry Cruz, Notts County. And Exeter showed them why you don't mess with the Grecians. As we can see, a certain Irishman by the name of Pierre Sweeney showed why right backs and centre backs can probably hear a ball too. Roll the James! Well, we all knew what happened then. It started so great, COVID hit. It was just so unfortunate at the time where Exeter were really on a good form. And this is my number three moment, as we can see here. Number three. It's the one you've been waiting for, number two. It's Exeter versus Plymouth, the first derby under Matt Taylor's reign. And it was an absolute crazy atmosphere. The entirety of Exeter was shut down by one half was Plymouth fans, on the other half was Exeter fans. It just felt like, oh, something's about to go down, something's about to go down. And soon as Exeter walked into that St. James Park, 
it's that scene from Gladiator where he goes, This is Exeter! From minute one, it was just like, bring it on. As we can see here in my favourite Matt Taylor Rain moment, number two, James rolled it! <laughs> One team in Devon, there's only one team in Devon. A 4 0 win over the Pilgrims, over Green Army, over the people down the road we don't like. We absolutely silenced them. We made them go to sleep. We literally took them in into the little nap naps and literally we absolutely bossed them around that day. A 4 0 win and Exodus. Biggest win over Plymouth Argyle in the history, I believe, and it was Matt Taylor's biggest win in a South West Derby. Curls it towards the back. Yes! It's an absolute peach from Lee Holmes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's the one you've been waiting for. The number one moment. And I think we all know what this moment is. So, let's just say, there's three people we need to thank in this video. The fans, Matt J, and of course, Matt Taylor. My number one moment. <laughs> so there you have it. Matt Taylor's top five moments for me personally, and this is where... I want to say a little thank you as well. Matt, you probably won't watch this, because um, you're probably too busy with a rough room, and obviously you've had a new kid, congratulations, but I just want to say thank you for giving me the best moments as a C fan. Like, I have so many great moments. I'm going to tell my kids one day, like, this is a team that I watched up and saw them from non-league, League 2, League 1, League 2, League 2, League 2, League 2, you probably wonder why I'm saying League 2, it's been 10 years, League 2, League 2, League 2, and finally, League 1, after the pain, the pain of Wembley, the pain of missing out on playoffs, the pain of missing out on automatic promotion, we finally, finally, got to League 1, and from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you, and um, I think that's just nothing more to say is just to leave you with Matt Taylor's final words as XTC manager. <laughs> so if you guys have enjoyed this make sure to leave a, a thumbs up uh comment down below and say like what do you want to see more uh do you want to see like a fifa like a fifa pack opening do you want to be like you know recreating ecstasy goals and fifa or if you want an ecstasy career mode as me as a manager or me as a player let me know down below um i am going to be recording a another video soon i think it's that it could be your you know, out to Friday or Saturday, it's going to be for Oxford, pre-match Oxford, and will I be there? You'll have to find out, and oh yeah, no one, if you want to see why I'm saying James all the time, James is the guy who is going to be editing this video, he is literally such a sick dude, these videos, if you like your travels, if you like your movies, he currently went to uh, the place where they did the Goonies, so uh, I'll put that in the top corner right there if you want to have another look as well. Plus he's got a video where he went to the Big Apple as NYC. So I'll put that as well in the link below. Make sure you smash your like on this video. Uh, can we see if we can get 25 likes? I know it's much, but you know, if you don't have to like, you don't have to like. You can dislike. Uh, make sure to share, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.